This week's episode of Cheerleaders is presented by Subway, the official training restaurant of athletes everywhere. Forty-four, forty-three, forty-two, and seven, and one, three, lift, seven, eight, seven, good, one, two, and three. This weekend is our first bid opportunity in San Jose. Last year we got our, our bid in this competition, so I'm hoping that it'll pan out the same way. That way we don't have to worry about getting a bid for the rest of the season. Can't say touch, come on. Remember I told you not to try. Go. <laughs> Unleash the demons. Hey guys. <laughs> you alright? Take it slow. Take it in. Okay, ready? In. And out. Okay. Is it okay? Yep. Yep. Get your arms up. Relax. We just finished that second run through through the tux, and then we did the uh, bear crawl suicide, and Robert was dying, and I can, we come to check on him, and he's like hyperventilating. Andrea's holding him. I don't know. It looked like an asthma attack. Hopefully, he's okay though. Yeah, Robert's been here for a couple of weeks, and I think it finally hit him. You know, like how much work it's actually gonna take. He came from a gym that didn't train as hard. Keep going, let's go, pick up those legs! And he literally got thrown into the pool head first. So he needs to like get acclimated, you know? Either his body's in shock or his mind's in shock, you know, on top of moving across the country for this and leaving his family. And it's overwhelming for him, I think. So he's just having a panic attack. So hoping he'll be okay by Sunday. So we'll see. Hey guys, uh, good practice. It, it just goes to show, you know, I kill you guys, and I'm not gonna lie, but you guys work really, really hard, and you can see the payoff starting to manifest on its own, you know. And it's not easy being on this team. It's not. So kudos to you guys. You guys can go through this practice and the kids of the rest of the country don't do this. They don't. They just don't. So good job to you guys. And we'll pray for Robert and get out. What do you think about it? Circle up. Let's pray. Thank you for bringing everyone here. I just ask that you, if anyone's hurting, you just lift that pain away and help Robert. And thank you for Gabby being on our team and just us here safely on practice on Sunday. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 Oh, that was sweet. Good job. Woo! Go Swagger Shortcake. And Smanly on three. One, two, three. Smanly! 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 He threw up and he's never been through that. So he got really scared. And then on top of that, he missed his mom. He held on to me so tight that I could tell it was like, I'm going through this, I'm scared, and I want my mommy here. So when we got him to calm down, I was holding on to him. I was like, it's okay, it's your mom, right? And he just, done, started crying. He misses his family. It was just, we were conditioning and then he was like making us these bear walks and, and the, the bear walk, the suicides, those those are what killed me. Like I told him I had to go to the bathroom because I because if I said I had a puke, he would have just put it in the trash can and 
made me just scared there, but I, I need I, I didn't know what was going on. So I went to the bathroom and then everything just went crazy. Like my head just started like it is like I started blacking out. I couldn't breathe. I, I I thought I was like I really thought I was dying. I've never had that happen to me. Robert, um, he comes from I don't even know what gym he comes Five, from, but this gym four. this team, I mean, you work. Like there's no playing around. It's a harder workout than anyone um of the gyms that we know of. When kids come in like Robert and Gabby, <clears throat> they walk into a gym that they're not acclimated with and they're expected to go from A to Z immediately because we're in full season now. They're jumping right in and it's kind of hard. They're just telling me it was anxiety, but and, I mean, I don't know what it was. I don't, I don't really want to feel it. I don't want to feel that feeling again, though, ever. Five, six, seven, snap. Snap. Let's go. Good. One and three. Five and seven, go, one, lift, five, keep it up, five, reach, nays, ah, uh, here we go, up, tall, five, seven, angles, five, seven, and one, two, and three, five, seven, uh, a little stress about the weekend, you know, um, we, just got a full team about a month ago. <laughs> and this is probably the farthest behind we've been in the past couple of years. Um, we have San Jose coming up this weekend and it's important because it's our first real chance to get the bid for Worlds. So I understand why he's worried and I'm a little worried too. Last year we had more of a set team. We didn't have a lot of people like changing spots so often like the way we do this year with like boys leaving, girls leaving. We were a team from the very beginning, but this year it's like a constant change of who's like what groups together, who's stunting. So it's just we're not as consistent because we haven't put in the time together. Every year I set the standard with the kids and say, hey, if you don't get a paid invitation to the World Championships, you're not going. Next time on Cheerleaders. We have San Jose coming up this weekend, and it's important because it's our first real chance to get the bid for Worlds. We're struggling a little bit. One of our kids woke up with a really bad neck spasm. I was at the house, and then all of a sudden, I feel like a really, really weird tingling in my neck. Like, it hurt really bad. What are you guys worried about? Is there something that I'm missing? Is it because Gabby's hurt? I'm really stressed. When I do my stunts, I'm, like, falling because I'm, like, so worried about it. We are so excited to announce that we have a brand new IMO with a brand new live audience starting March 11th. An all new set and all new topics. Smiley Cyrus brings fashion. Second chances. Gaimo. New guests like Kelly Simpson, YouTube star Andrea Russett, and YouTube star Joey Graceffa. Join us on the couch for IMO, the only place where teen girls just like you talk about things you care about. I love it, I love it, I love mixing patterns. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing else like it. It was really amazing, and they're like my role model. Check out an all-new IMO starting March 11th, Monday through Friday, on Awesomeness TV.